Hey everyone, welcome back to the universe of AI, where we break down the biggest moves in the AI world so you don't have to dig through all the noise. This week we got some huge updates. Apple just dropped two new on-device AI models. OpenAI is teaming up with Broadcom to build its own chips. Amazon is stepping into the AI agent race in a big way. DeepSeek is teasing a powerful new model that could rival GPT-5. And Anthropic quietly pushed out a cloud upgrade that could shake up the enterprise market. These aren't just headlines, they're moves that show where the future of AI is headed. So let's get into it. First up, Apple. Apple has finally pulled the curtain back on its own AI research. And this time, it's not just Siri. They released two models on Hugging Face, Fast VLM and Mobile Clip 2. Let's start with Fast VLM. It's a 7 billion parameter vision language model designed for speed. In Apple's own benchmarks, Fast VLM runs up to 5 times faster than competing VLMs while still delivering top tier accuracy on tasks like image captioning and object recognition. That's a big deal, because real time performance means this thing can actually power use cases like video captioning on your iPhone without needing the cloud. Then there's Mobile Clip 2. It's the successor to Apple's original Mobile Clip. And it's all about lightweight multimodal understanding. In practice, that means it can match text and images efficiently even on smaller devices. Apple has multiple model sizes available, so developers can choose do you want blazing speed or do you want maximum accuracy? Why does this matter? Privacy. Apple's brand has always leaned into data protection. Processing AI locally means less data needs to leave your device and go on the cloud. Second, performance. Instant AI responses without any lag due to cloud functionality. Apple has always been trying to lay the groundwork for new wave iPhone experiences, and their strategy is your device is going to be smart enough to understand your world even when it's not connected. Put this simply, this is Apple's version of catching up, but doing it in their own way. Privacy first and hardware optimized. Next up, OpenAI. OpenAI is making a bold move. They're partnering with Broadcom to mass produce custom AI chips starting in 2026. Right now, OpenAI relies almost entirely on NVIDIA's GPUs to train and run its models. That's expensive, competitive, and a bottleneck. By building their own chips, OpenAI can cut costs on training massive models like GPT-5, control their compute supply chain, and potentially optimize chips for their specific workloads. Things like long context reasoning and agentic behaviors. This is part of a bigger industry trend. Google has TPUs, Amazon has Trainium, and now OpenAI wants in. If they succeed, Nvidia's dominance in AI hardware could finally start to crack. And now Amazon. Amazon is gearing up for a major push into the AI agent race with a brand new offering called QuickSuite. And this is straight out of an internal document that Business Insider got their hands on. So what is QuickSuite? It's an all-in-one AI workspace that combines Amazon's existing tools like QuickSight for analytics dashboards and QBusiness for conversational insights, but supercharged with AI agents that can pull data, analyze it, and even make recommendations. Think of it as Amazon's attempt to give every business user a personal AI consultant. Amazon has already rolled this out in private preview to more than 50 companies. And we're talking serious enterprises like BMW, Intuit, and Coach Industries. The pitch is simple. Instead of spending hours digging through data, QuickSuite's agents can surface insights and automate auctions instantly. The bigger story here is strategy. AWS dominates cloud infrastructure, but when it comes to enterprise software, Microsoft and Google have always had the edge with products like Office and Copilot and Workspace and Gemini. QuickSuite is Amazon's way of closing that gap. And the timing makes sense. Amazon's own internal decks highlight that over 40% of business users are expected to adopt the AI enhanced workflow soon. And AWS doesn't just want to power that shift in the background. They want to be front and center, offering actual software businesses use day to day. Of course, early feedback hasn't always been perfect. Testers praise QuickSuite's simplicity and integration with the AWS data, but there are already questions about permissions, governance, and how flexible the agents really are compared to more mature offerings. 
Still, the takeaway is clear. Amazon isn't content to just be the plumbing of AI. With QuickSuite, they're aiming to be in the room where decisions are made, and that puts them in direct competition with Microsoft, Google, and even OpenAI itself. Now on to DeepSeek, the Chinese AI company that came out of nowhere earlier this year with its R1 model. They've been hyped as one of the fastest growing challengers to OpenAI and Entropic, and now they're preparing to release a new agent-capable model by the end of 2025. Why is this a big deal? Because agent features are the next frontier. We're not just talking about chatbots anymore, we're talking about AIs that can plan, reason, and execute multi-step tasks with minimal supervision. If DeepSeek delivers, it could become a serious global competitor, especially with China pushing to build domestic champions in AI. Finally, let's talk about Entropic, and there's a lot happening here. First, the product itself. Entropic released Cloud Opus 4.1 in early August as a drop-in upgrade to Opus 4. It's faster, smarter, and better at handling complex workflows. On the SWE Bench coding benchmark, it hit 74.5% up from 72.5%. Small on paper, but big in practice for multi-file refactoring and long horizon reasoning. Developers can even adjust the model's thinking budget in the API, choosing between quick responses or more deliberate step-by-step -step reasoning. But the real story isn't just the upgrade, it's everything happening around it. Just last week, Entropic closed a $13 billion Series F round, pushing its valuation to $183 billion, nearly triple where it was earlier this year. That's a signal of confidence from investors that Claude is a serious contender to OpenAI and Google. It also unveiled new safety features. Claude can now actually end a conversation if it detects harmful or abusive interaction. Entropic says this is part of protecting both users and the welfare of AI system, reinforcing their brand as a safety first lab. Lastly, Entropic also announced it will block access to Claude for firms majority owned by Chinese companies like Tencent or Alibaba, setting legal and security risks. This could cost them millions in revenue, but it shows they're willing to take a stand to align with US policy and enterprise trust. So, when you put it all together, Claude Opus 4.1 is more than a product release. It's the centerpiece of Entropic's pivot into an enterprise dominance, backed by record funding and tested in the geopolitical arena. In short, this update tells us much about the future of the AI business, as it does about the technology itself. So to recap today's video, Apple is betting on on-device AI with fast VLM and mobile clip 2, OpenAI is breaking from NVIDIA by building its own chips, Amazon is muscling into the enterprise AI with QuickSuite, DeepSeek is chasing the next frontier with autonomous agent models, and Entropic is putting Cloud Opus 4.1 as the center of a massive expansion, from funding to safety to geopolitics. The battle lines are clear. Who controls the chips, who builds the platform, and who earns the trust of businesses worldwide? Thanks for watching. If you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the universe of AI, and drop a comment on which of these moves you think will matter the most in the long run. See you in the next one.